are they going to do my man Julius Sherrata dirty like that? Last pick? Come on, bro. Do better. going on BBA fans today I've got a very special video for you I have reconstructed the entirety of the BBA into a video game NBA 2k21 now the more astute viewers might kind of look at me weird and say but you've done this video already why are you doing it twice and to that I say yeah you're, you're right this video has been done before but this is a better edition this video um, first of all, it's on NBA 2K21 instead of NBA 2K20. Secondly, it's, it's me, Dean McBride. Hi, I'm Dean McBride, Captain of the Electric Guitars. Um, I'm doing this video. Um, the first time it was done, Ben did this video. Um, thirdly, I, instead of just putting the Quad Bean Electric Guitars, put all the BBA teams in there. You can kind of see on the top right how... Quad B, Happy Birthdays, Guitars, Yellows, you see what I mean. And fourthly, it's a different scenario. With the playoffs coming up soon, or maybe they've already happened when you're watching this video, I've decided to put them all in, and pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to run through the rosters really quickly. Not really quickly, but we're going to run through the rosters, and then we're just going to simulate the playoffs and see how that goes. So, let's get it going. So, here's the Quad B, and the first team we're going to look at. Um, this team went... This team went winless in the regular season this year, but they played really well, even without, like, arguably their two best players, Scott and Preston. Um, also, the little fire icon next to the players' names, that's not bad. That's actually good. That means they're, that means they're on fire. But these are all the best players in the league because these are the only players in the league, so obviously they're going to be on fire. Um, and then also the little number next to the position and next to the minutes um it is just their overall rating out of out of 100 and yeah so higher is better uh sir so scott preston ben ishwari yeah a main problem with this game is you can't put girls into nba 2k21 like even though they added the wnba into nba 2k20 and put it into NBA 2K21 as well. You can't put a female into the NBA just because that's not how it's supposed to go. I mean, I mean, I'm, I don't know. Um, so you just have to try your best. Um, I'm not good at making face scans, so that's about as good as I could get. There's Josh, um, JP, Crystal, and Emma. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the quad B, um, yeah, very good, they're gonna play, well, in real life, they're gonna play the fellow yellows, but in this game, they're gonna play the birthdays, see, I just messed up setting up the league, and we can go back, actually, um, and instead of putting the fellow yellows facing the quad B, I put them facing the guitars for some reason, I, I, I don't know why I did that, um, that's just an accident on my end, but, you know, we're just gonna pretend that the Feliolas didn't win by that nine points they needed to get the one seed, and this is actually the 2-3 matchup, whereas this is the 1-4 matchup. Does that kind of make sense? No? Okay. Fair enough. We'll move on to the birthdays. I, I swear, the rest of this will go faster. Oh, not, not there. Okay. Here's the birthdays. Uh, Miles, Nick Clements, Jackie, Melissa, Adrian, Emily, John, and Roma. Um, seems pretty good. I mean, obviously, they were the two seed. Well, the one seed in the sim, but they're the two seed in real life. Um, yeah, and they've been performing really well. And you could thank Adrian for a lot of that, um, but obviously everyone on this team has performed really well. And, yeah. Seems good, and I know that my team, the Guitars, will have to face them in the first round, and 
kind of scared, but I know that I know that my team's better, and um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Good luck to them. Now here's my team, the Electric Guitars. Um, we have Isaiah, we have Julia, there's Mark, and there's me, and then Mike Brent. Um, Jeremy, Gary, and Beekman. Another, like, I think this team's pretty good. Um, we have suffered from a lack of players showing up. And, yeah, so, that's just how it's been. And I hope that we can get more players to show up soon because, I mean, this is the time of the season when we'll need players to show up. Hopefully they can. And I think if they do, I think we got a good shot at beating the birthdays. But, who knows? Here's the yellows. Um, this is the one seed in real life. They also went five and one, um, but they had a better point differential than the happy birthdays, so they got the tiebreaker there. Ian, Andrew, Patrick. Patrick doesn't normally start for this team. I'm actually going to start Elijah here. Um, Elijah, Caleb, and then Nolan, and then off the bench, well, they have Patrick, like I said, Nick Reed, and Brianna. Um, this team's, this team's really good, obviously. I think, I think a lot of it is they have, like, most of their players show up, um, every week, and they have really good chemistry, and I think this team's very scary, and they could make a deep run in the postseason. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I actually, I actually did do one more thing. I actually edited the coaches, so if we go over here, um... Yeah, the coach heads don't really match up. Um, so this is not what Cody Thurman looks like. Actually, that's the head of current Thunder coach Mark Daniel, or however you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, that's Cody Thurman. Um, if we go to the guitars, we can see that the head coach is indeed Reed Mitchell. And no, that's not what Reed Mitchell looks like. Um, the Happy Birthdays, their head coach is Brandon Brumbaugh. And then... The quad B, their head coach is Ben Yates, um, with his disgusting head, like... I, th this is not what Ben Yates looks like in real life, thank god. Um, anyways, we're going to get to the playoffs. Welcome back, BBA fans. You've seen the rosters, now get ready to see them in action. First off, we're going to play... This game between the quad B and the happy birthdays. Let's go. All right, and we're into the game. So let's get ready. Here's all the pregame stuff. You can see players walking in, everyone in their nice suits. I believe that's Miles and Nick Clements. Just Casually hanging out. Welcome to Party City, where the Lexington Quad B will be playing the Hartford Happy Birthdays. Z zoom in on Adrian. Why is that so close? Uh, okay. Here's your starting lineups. Scott, Preston, Ben, Ishwari, and Josh. And then Miles, Nick, Jackie, Melissa, and Adrian. So, yeah. Those are the teams that will be playing for a right and a spot in the championship. Adrian versus Josh for the tip. Who wins it? Josh does. Ishwari passes it through her legs to Scott. Scott to Ishwari. To Preston in the corner. To Ishwari, the lob! The duck! Ishwari with the lob! Oh my gosh! The alley-oop! Insane! Kevin Harlan, Greg Anthony, and Brent Berry on the call. But I don't have game audio on, so it's just gonna be me. And Adrian rises up, mid-range, hits it, two points. Ishwari running the point. She's done this before in the BBA. Can this prove effective this time? Oh, pass Melissa. Oh, blocked by Adrian, but gets her own rebound. And can't haul it in, Melissa, with the rebound. Out to Miles. Miles really quickly out to Clements. Back to Miles. To Adrian, their star player, working on Ishwari. The spin move! Out to Nick Clements for three! 
It's good! Nick Clements with the three-pointer! And Scott will shoot a shot, and that will end the first quarter. The Happy Birthdays lead 5-2. to two. All right, and we are back for the start of the second quarter. The Happy Birthdays have the ball. John pass into Miles. Miles back to John. Ben on him. John out at the three point line. John gets the screen from Adrian. John Crystal on him. Can't make the shot. Crystal with the rebound. Out to Ben. What's Ben going to do with it? Ben in the mid range. Goes for the layup. No good. Rebound John. John. Ooh. Slides. He's at the three point line. To Roma. Back to Miles. Miles to Adrian. For the pull up three. No good. Rebound Scott. Also, I put the quarters at one minute. Because, um, if I didn't, it would take a long time. Like, I had an alternate recording where I literally went through one game of this, and it was absolutely awful. I'm never doing that again. Speaking of never doing that again, oh my gosh, Emma almost makes the three, and that will be halftime. It will still be five to two. And that is going to... And we're going to have the halftime show, but there will be no audio for the halftime show. Very poorly lit Shaq, Ernie, and Kenny. And a Bucks blimp in the background. This is not the Milwaukee Bucks. This is the Happy Birthdays. What kind of false advertising is this? Alright. Ooh, let's watch some highlights. In the first quarter, Nick with the three-pointer. Adrian, nice pull-up. And there we go. We can check the halftime report. Um, top performers, Ishwari with two points and a rebound. And then Adrian with two points and an assist. Cool for them. Looks like the Bartes have been out playing the Quad B so far, but then again, there's only been two minutes of gameplay, so you never know. Things could change in literally three seconds. And that's the halftime show. Let's get to the third quarter. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's a guy on a trampoline. Oh, there's performers. Okay, yeah, I really don't care. All right, lights are turning off. And Jackie to Adrian to start the third. Adrian bringing it up on Josh. Out to Nick Clements. Back out to Adrian. Adrian with the screen from Melissa. And puts it in. The layup is good. 7-2. to two. Ooh. Scott. Looking like he's got miles on him. Ishwari. Guarded very closely by Melissa. Melissa's been a really good defender this season. Um, yeah, like IRL. Just wanted to point that out. And Adrian with the shooting foul. Ironic, because he's the only one that ever calls fouls in the BBA. And let's watch that again. Ooh, yeah. Definitely some contact there. He can't believe it. Ishwari taking free throws. Pulls up. It's good. 3-7. to seven. Ishwari for another free throw. It's no good. She misses. Well, she makes one of two. Adrian drives. Out to the three-point line. Double covered. Oh, to Clemens in the post. It's good. Nine to three. Ishwari driving up like the point guard she's played as this season in the BBA. She's staying up at the top. Melissa on her. Ooh. Screen from Ben. Ishwari for three. No good. Rebound Miles. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. The score is birthdays nine. Quad B three. Looks like this could be the end result of the game. And it looks like the happy birthdays might advance. But you never know. Team leads have been blown before. Here's our assist of the game. Adrian out to Nick Clements, who buries the three. Look at the beautiful pass from Adrian. That has been your State Farm assist of the game, brought to you by State Farm.
And starting the fourth quarter, JP will pass into Scott. Scott out to Crystal. Crystal pump fakes. Jackie doesn't bite. Down to Preston. Preston putting the pose moves on Nick Clements with the fade. No good. Actually, an air ball rebound by Nick Clements. And Scott Mitchell will intentionally foul. And look at this block from Adrian once again. Ishwara goes up for the layup, and Adrian just denies that. Says, get that out of here. Sponsored by Mobile One, the official motor oil of the NBA. Jackie passing the ball in to Nick Clements. Hounded. Out to Melissa. Melissa dunks it. Timeout, Quad B. Melissa with the dunk, and that looks like it will do it. The Happy Birthdays might have just defeated the Quad B. It's 11 to 3 with 36 seconds left. Ishwari gonna pass it in. Out to Scott. To Ishwari. Guarded closed by Melissa. And it's no good. Rebound JP. JP dunks it. And it's 5 to 11. Oh! Oh, Nick Clem oh, it got tapped out, and Nick Clements and the Happy Birthdays will retain possession. Ben subs in for Crystal. Emily will pass in the ball. Looks like it's to Nick Clements, and Nick Clements will also get fouled. Ooh. Pulls up for the free throw, and it's good. 5-12. to 12. Clements, and that's good. 13 to 5. JP to Ishwari. And Ishwari will drive. Put up a tough layup. No good. Rebounded by Emily. Out to Miles. And that looks like it will do it. The happy birthday will be defeating the Quad B here in the first round of the BBA playoffs by a score of 13 to five. That's gonna do it. The happy birthdays have advanced to the BBA finals where they will play the winner of the electric guitars and the fellow yellows. Adrian ho hoisting up the trophy with all the players celebrating behind him. And let's take a look at the box score. So Nick Clements led the Happy Birthdays in scoring with seven points. Adrian had four and two assists. Melissa had two points, two rebounds. Miles had just one rebound. Jackie didn't have any stats. Emily had a rebound. John had a rebound. Roma had no stats. And Kyle Korver did not play. And for the Quad B, Ishwari had three points. Um... JP had two points and a rebound. Scott had a rebound. Preston had an assist. Ben Bourgeois, all he did was miss a shot. Josh did not get a stat. Crystal did get a rebound. Emma just missed a three. And Jamal Crawford did not play. And the Lexington Quad B have been eliminated. What a beautiful sight to see coming from a guitarist fan. Alright, well... Now that that's happened, we move on. Oh, my VC is being saved. All right, now let's play the Fellow Yellows versus Electric Guitars game. This looks like a very close matchup, and this is one that I've been waiting for. So, let's just get right into it. All right, and we are into the game now. It is going to be the Electric Guitars playing the Fellow Yellows. Yes, they're playing the Yellows. I don't know why I was about to say Happy Birthdays there. But, yeah, they're about to play the Fellow Yellows. And, yeah, so the 77-win Electric Guitars take on the 80-win Fellow Yellows. Well, obviously, they had to play, you know, the other 26 teams in the league. I basically decimated and removed all their players. Um, so the Yellows have Ian, Andrew, Elijah, Caleb, and Nolan, and then the guitars have Isaiah, Julia, Mark, Dean, and Mike. 
Um, so, let's get ready to play the game. Mike versus Nolan for the opening tip. Who's going to win it? It is going to be Nolan. The fellow yellows will win the tip. Ian will start it off. Ian to Andrew. Guarded by Julia. Out to Elijah at the three-point line. Andrew with Julia in his face. And that is a three-pointer for the fellow yellows. Isaiah is going to bring it up. Isaiah's going to pass it into me in the post, and I got the layup. That's me, baby. But uh, nepotism aside, yeah, that, that was a nice layup. Um, oh, Caleb glitches through me to pass it to Andrew. Andrew, again, guarded by Julia. Pass out to Caleb. Caleb is going to try and drive. He will. Tries a layup. No good. Rebound Mike. And Mike will pass it to Isaiah. And looks like he's going to end the third quarter there. One. And Isaiah. Oh, he almost makes the buzzer beater. But it will be two to three at the end of the first quarter. Also, if you see other random players, like how Tyson Chandler is on the guitars. Um, that's, those are just roster fillers. Um, yeah. Um... They, they, I've made sure they won't play, and, like, I've made sure they won't play, and, I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're just there to fill the roster. I'm sorry if you don't like Tyson Chandler on the guitars, um, that's just a you problem. Anyways, Beekman has the ball. Beekman driving. Beekman. In the mid-range, what's he gonna do with it? There's a lot of moves to Gary out to Isaiah. Isaiah with the layup. It's good. Four to three. And Nick Reed passes it into Caleb. Um, Caleb guarded by Gary. Oh, Caleb with the off balance three. No good. Rebound Isaiah. Isaiah is going to pass to Mike to Jeremy. Jeremy in the corner. He's going to dribble around. He's going to pass. Oh, no, he's not going to pass. He's going to shoot. It's going to be 6-3. to three. Guitar's lead. Caleb brings it up. Trying to at least get close. Or maybe even to tie this ball game by the half. Caleb gets the screen from Nick. Caleb for three. No good. Rebound Isaiah. And that's going to be the half. Um, also, if you notice, if you look closely, um, Nick Reed's wearing the number 47. Um, I am very sorry to Nick Reed for, for doing that. Um, I honestly don't know why. They give, they give, um, creative players, like, the most random numbers. And usually I'll change them, but I just kind of forgot to. I'm sorry. I also forgot to do that with Brianna, which is why she is also wearing the number 38. Anyways, let's watch some highlights. Andrew with a three-pointer. Isaiah with a tough layup. Those are the first quarter highlights. Second quarter, um, that that was it. I have no idea what just happened there, but uh, top performers, Isaiah with two points, two rebounds, and an assist, and Andrew Chun with a three-pointer and nothing else. And this has been your halftime show with Poorly Lit, Shaq, Ernie, and Kenny. And me, because I don't have game audio, so I have to talk over them. But my rambling aside, whoa, look at that guy on the bike, whoa, whoa, he's doing spins, oh, that's so cool, whoa, spinning bike man aside, we got a game to play, Isaiah running the point, Isaiah looking to get the screen, he's going to try and drive in, oh, he's going to take the tough layup, no good, rebound, Ian. Ian out to Elijah. He's going to dunk in. It's going to be 6-5. to five. This game is closing up. Mark passes to Isaiah. Isaiah crosses over, looking for the handles. Gets the screen from me and hits the tough layup. 
eight to five. Nolan into Caleb. Caleb trying to will his team back. Caleb with Dean on him. Caleb drives. No good. Rebound Mike. Mike's going to try and bring it up, but passes it to Isaiah. Isaiah throws it straight to Elijah. Elijah out to Caleb. Caleb dunks it. Oh my gosh, it is 8-7. to seven. Mike to Isaiah. Isaiah's going to go 4, 3, 2, 1. Isaiah passes it in. And I can't get the shot off before time runs out. It is eight to seven at the end of the third. This is still anyone's ball game, folks. Um, I see how that goes. Look, there's Nene. Everyone say hi, Nene, in the comments. Or don't. I can't control you. But it would be really funny. Also, there's a Cavaliers blimp in here. Um, I don't know why. This is the fellow yellows, not the Cavaliers. Look at the assist. Isaiah with the tough layup. Really? That was the assist of the game? It's probably the only assist, to be fair. Um, so, yeah. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. Only one minute left because I put it on one minute quarters, like I've said previously. And... Ooh, what's happening here? Oh my gosh, Patrick with the moves! And it's 8 to 9, timeout electric guitars. What was that? Patrick pulled out like the Kyrie Irving dribble moves. And now we have the fellow yellows dancers. Um, no comment. Gary looking to pass. As it's to Julia in the corner for three. No good. Rebound Patrick. Patrick drives. Stops at the three point line to Andrew. Andrew working on what seems like Jeremy. Back to back to Andrew. Andrew driving. On Garrison. It's good. 11 to 8. And the guitars have to take their final timeout. Oh my goodness. The guitars, after maintaining a lead in this game, might have choked it just like they do in real life. New Balance player of the game is Andrew Chun. He's had five points on two for two shooting. Mike out to Jeremy. Jeremy with 25 seconds left. Pulls up for three. No good. And the fellow yellows get the ball. And it's going to be an intentional foul from Isaiah. Oh my gosh. Jeremy just sold. And he's getting subbed out for Julia. And now Isaiah has to intentionally foul again. And it looks like Ian's going to go to the line. Ian hits the, hits the free throw. Ian going to attempt another free throw he hits it it is 13 to 8 and it looks like the guitars may have just blown another lead late in a game and who are we the atlanta falcons oh oh that's me for three no good rebound mike out to julia for three she can't hit it rebound caleb and that is going to do it the fellow yellows have defeated the Electric Guitars and will advance to the BBA Finals. Lots of love and respect coming from each play from the players on the teams. And there we can see some of the highlights. Andrew's three-pointer. Caleb's dunk. Andrew's tough layup to put them up for good. And Elijah's dunk. And there's Caleb hoisting up the trophy. And everyone's loving it. The fellow yellows will face the happy birthdays in the BBA finals. Let's check the box score. So for the fellow yellows, yes, it looks like Andrew Chun did score. He scored five points, which led the team. Ian had two points, one rebound, two assists. 
Elijah had two points, a rebound, an assist, and a steal. Caleb had two points and a rebound, but he went one for five in this game. Patrick had two points and a rebound. Nolan did not have any stats. Nick Reed did not have any stats. Brianna did not have any stats. And look, it's Tyler Zeller. For the guitars, Isaiah had four points, two rebounds, and an assist. Dean McBride had two points. Jeremy had two points, and that was all the scoring done. Julia did not have any stats. Mark did not have any stats. Mike had three rebounds, one of them offensive. Gary had an assist. Beekman did not have any stats. And look, it's Jerry and Grant. The Anaheim Electric Guitars have been eliminated. What a sad day. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't hate to see it, actually. Because now that means... Oh, now, now my VC earnings are being saved. So, yeah. Let's just go and play the birthdays versus the fellow yellows. And before we play game one of this five game series, I will show you all the uniforms I've created for these teams. So it looks like the fellow yellows will have home court advantage for this crucial game one of the five game series I just mentioned. Um, so here's their home uniforms. Which is what I was kind of... Um, here are their away uniforms. They're just white. And then here are their... state. And then here are their statements. These are probably some of my favorite uniforms. Um, I like the little number in the top. I like how they're black. But they also have a little bit of yellow in there. It looks really nice. I think I'm going to have them wear it. And then the birthdays. Here's their aways. Here's their statement jerseys. It's like pink i think it looks really nice and then here's their what um regardless here's their home uniforms yeah um so we'll give them the aways and let's rock with it game one of the bba finals starts soon all right guys so you may notice something weird um, you may notice that in the middle, it says, Happy Birthdays, Fellow Yellows. Um, the series is tied 2-2. Two to two. Now you're thinking, well, we haven't seen a single game of Birthdays, Yellows yet. Okay. I'll tell you. So, pretty much, I wanted to make it a five-game series because I thought that'd be fun. It's not. I played through, I played through, like, I played through the first game, and it took, like, it, and it took, like, 15 minutes somehow even though it's still in one minute quarters it just took a long time because it was like the nba finals or the bba finals in this case so pretty much what i'm going to do is this is the final game of the series this is win or go home anyways so we're just going to pretend like this is the real bba finals in which it is a one game elimination winner is the champion loser is the i don't know loser all right, here it is. Game of the BBA Finals. Well, the only game of the BBA Finals, actually. Um, so you got everyone walking in with their nice suits. There's Adrian. Zoom in on Miles. And, yep, it is on the Yellows home court. The birthdays and the yellows are going to play in the final game of the series. So you can check the lineups here for the BBA Finals. Miles, Nick, Jackie, Melissa, and Adrian, and Ian, Andrew, Elijah, uh, Caleb, and Nolan. So that's that, and we're just going to see how this goes. All the fans... All the fellow Yellows fans wearing their all-in shirts. I don't know what that means, but probably means something. Adrian with the mid-range, it's good! And the birthdays secure their first points. Kevin Harlan, Greg Anthony, and Brent Barry on the call. Do you think Kevin Harlan would call a finals game? Has he? Probably has. 
Um, yeah, that would make sense. Oh, Jackie with the Euro step. Oh my goodness, it is four nothing. The birthdays have run away to a quick lead. Caleb needs to try and bring him back now, or else he's in danger of blowing this game and this series on his home court. Caleb, ooh, cannot get it. Rebound Jackie, out to Miles for mid-range. No good, rebound Nolan. Nolan out to Caleb, Caleb driving. Caleb is gonna pass it to Ian. Ian's gonna spin, go back for three. And that is gonna be the end of the first quarter. The happy birthdays lead four to zero. This has been a tough game so far. And we're ready to start the second quarter. As a reminder, the score is happy birthdays four, fellow yellows zero. Speaking of the yellows, here's Ian to Brianna. Brianna's gonna get a screen from Caleb. Go the other way. Brianna in the mid range. She's gonna pull up. No good. Rebound Adrian. Adrian out to Miles. Miles in the mid range. It's good. 6 0. I don't know why he dribbled in from the three point line. That was kind of weird. Whatever. Maybe he trusted he'd make a mid range more? I don't know. Miles to Caleb to Nick Reed for the fade. No good. Rebound Adrian. Man, the yellows are very off their game. Oh my gosh. And Adrian dunks all over Nick Reed. It is an 8-0 lead and halftime is imminent. Caleb dribbles way outside for the mid-range. No good, and the fellow yellows are scoreless at halftime. 8-0. And now, we get to the last of the halftime shows. Presented by Badly Lit Shaq, Ernie, and Kenny. Let's watch some highlights. Here's the first quarter. Look at this beautiful... The Eurostep from Jackie confuses everyone. Adrian's mid-range, Miles' mid-range, and here's the second quarter, and it was Adrian's dunk and the halftime report. Yeah, the happy birthdays are dominating the fellow yellows in this game. Adrian has four points, three rebounds, two assists, and Nolan has just a rebound. You can see the disparity in these teams, and... It looks like this is going to be a blowout, but then again... Eight-point leads have been blown before. I would know. As a member of the Electric Guitars, who have blown multiple big leads. Most recently, an eight-point lead to the Happy Birthdays in week six of the BBA regular season. Um, yeah. But I know that the Fellow Yellows are really good. And I think that they can at least try. Oh, here's the layup. They're not scoreless anymore. What I was going to say is, I feel like the Happy Birthdays aren't going to blow this lead. But, I mean, you can never be too sure. Melissa in the mid-range. She passes it to Adrian. Adrian drives. No good. Rebound, Caleb. Looks like both teams have their starting lineups out. Oh, Caleb working on Melissa. Melissa with the beautiful on-ball defense. Caleb drives and puts it up. Eight to four. Are the yellows coming back? Hold on. Adrian stands at the three-point line. Oh, Caden's playing Fortnite. Shout out Caden. Um, yeah, no comment. Melissa with the rebound and the mid-range no good. Well, if Caden does end up watching this, 
Um, I hope your Fortnite game went really well. But regardless, the Happy Birthdays are now leading the fellow yellows just eight to four. And I don't know how to feel about this. Um, Nick Clements, he dribbles, and it's a foul on Andrew, a blocking foul. No free throws will be taken, but the ball will be passed in. Emily passes it to Melissa, way out near half court. Melissa to John. John to Nick Clements. Nick Clements pulls up. No good. Rebound Patrick. And Patrick drops it. Picked up by Emily. Going slow by Nick Clements. And that's a foul from Patrick. I don't know why he did, did that. He could have just gone fast and probably like dunked it or something. But yeah, it looks like Patrick has just sold the BB-8 Championship. Unbelievable. He will absolutely get ridiculed for years about this. Maybe traded. Who knows? Caleb, if you're watching this, you know what to do. Trade this man's. You just sold your team. And because 2K is supposed to be accurate to real life... Oh, look, player of the game, Adrian Ramirez. Speaking of accurate, um, yeah, if this is supposed to be accurate to real life, then Patrick's definitely going to sell you sell you guys in the playoffs. Um, that's actually not what's going to happen. Um, don't, actually, don't, don't trade um, Patrick. But if you do trade him, please trade him to the electric guitars. Like, we'll gladly take him. But, oh, Caleb with the nice lay, 10 to 6. Yeah, like I was saying, don't get mad at me, Patrick. Like, this th this is not accurate to real life at all. Um, as Miles gets fouled by Ian, and it looks like this game is, in all practical senses, pretty much over. The Happy Birthdays may have just clinched their first ever BBA championship. And it's on the Yellow's home court, too. Miles hits the shot, and they're up by six with 20 seconds remaining. Yeah, it looks like Caleb, Ian, Andrew, and the rest of the fellow yellows are going to, are going to go home. Well, they're already home, but they're going to leave the court sad, and I don't know. It looks like they're going to lose, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, you can never be too sure, but... Anyways, Caleb with the reverse layup. It's good. 12 to 8. Only a four-point lead now. And it looks like this game's pretty much over. Andrew fouls Nick Clements. Nick Clements makes the free throw. Is he going to make another one? He will not. Rebound Nolan. Out to Caleb. Caleb. To Andrew. Andrew makes the three. Hold on. It's 13 to 11 with nine seconds left. Pass out to Jackie. A foul. And Jackie is about to attempt two free throws to put the to put the game away. She makes the first. But is she gonna make the second? Jackie makes the second. And that might just do it. Andrew again, barely misses, and that's going to be game over. It's game. That is game. The Happy Birthdays have just won the BBA Championship. Have they? Wait, wait, wait. What? What's going on? Was that it? Did I say it to a seven-game series? Wait, what? Um, all right, I'll, 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 I'll run over the stats. Um... So Caleb had eight points, one rebound, one assist. Andrew had that three-pointer at the end of the game, but no other points were scored. Ian had an assist. Nolan had two rebounds, two assists. 
Patrick had an assist. Patrick had a rebound, and that's it. The the birthdays. Miles had four points, one rebound, one assist. Jackie had four points and a rebound. Adrian had four points, three rebounds, two assists. Nick Clements had a had three free throws. Melissa had a rebound. Emily had a steal, and that was it. Wait, was that it? Huh? Did they send it to a seven game series? Wait, what? Oh, the Hartford Happy Birthdays have won the championship. Congratulations to the birthdays. They have won the championship. Sucks that I couldn't get their celebration on camera. I don't know why the game glitched out and didn't let me see the celebration, but I know the I know that the birthdays fans are celebrating at their homes and wherever they're watching. And let's see. Miles wins the finals MVP, stealing it from Adrian. And that looks like that is going to be the video. So as you can see, the birthdays have won the BBA championship. So that is actually what will happen in real life now. Um, the birthdays are going to win their first championship ever. And Jackie will go out a hero. Thank you all for tuning in. And I hope you all have a good day. Or maybe even a great day. Except for the teams who lost. I hope you have a terrible day. Thanks. Bye.